Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I am wearing a super cool Varastelica Forgotten Weapons Merino Wool t-shirt today, because I'm really excited to announce that I have a line of awesome merchandise products with Varastelica that are now available. I've been wanting this for a while, and it's really cool to have it actually come through. So if you're not familiar with them, Varostelika is a Finnish military surplus and outdoor goods and military goods uh, supply, uh, supply store in uh, Helsinki, Finland. I've been aware of them since about 2016 when I first discovered them due to their fantastically honest uh, descriptions and reviews of all sorts of interesting military surplus gear. They have a fantastic website just to browse around even if you're not buying something. And then uh, I was further uh, suckered in by their very inexpensive and a very fast shipping to the United States. Ended up buying a bunch of their cool stuff, got to know them. They have been running Finnish Brutality for five years now. In fact, we have videos coming uh, in the next two days about Finnish Brutality 2022, which was a fantastic experience. And one of the things that they are doing is expanding to do some merchandise stuff. So. Uh, we have eight different items with them. One of them is this awesome merino wool t-shirt. Frankly, to be honest with you guys, I wear like 90% stuff from them, most of which I just bought myself with my own money. I don't talk about it on camera, you often don't see it on camera, but it's one of the things that really made this company and this brand appeal to me is it's what I wear on a daily basis and I really like it. So. Uh, you wouldn't normally think of a wool t-shirt as being like a thing, but merino wool is fantastically soft, fantastically comfortable. It's great in the winter. It's also uh, remarkably good in the summer, and I know that firsthand. Um, resist wear, doesn't smell after, you know, immediately the way that cotton does. Just really nice t-shirts. The price, unfortunately, is high uh, for high quality materials manufactured in Europe. None of this is made in China. And uh, so we have this in two colors. We have it in black and also this cool, I think they call it like diesel green. Uh, and on both of them we have a Forgotten Weapons logo on one shoulder and of course the, the Gun Jesus face on the other shoulder. I wanted, uh, here it is, I wanted something a little more subtle than a giant emblazoned thing on the front. Number two, which is uh, again, an item that I wear myself on a very regular basis, although not so much in the summer in Arizona, is their merino wool hoodie, which really isn't coming across looking like anything but a pile of cloth in this video. So uh, again, a little bit of a, a subtle Forgotten Weapons logo on there, but this is one of the best single products that Varsalika has ever done. It's warm, it's comfortable, it can carry an immense amount of stuff. I think they have a video, a promo video up on their website is showing how many beers you can carry in this, and it's like 22 or something. Uh, really great all-around garment, both as a top layer or under a, a rain jacket or other windproof shell. Uh, it looks good by itself. It's it's a fantastic uh, piece of gear that, and again, something that I wear all the time. So very cool to have that available as a Forgotten Weapons product. Uh, rounding out the merino wool items, they also have a level one TST wool beanie, merino wool beanie. Uh, one of the things about Varsalika, they have a set of outdoor, specifically it's military outdoor clothing in seven different levels, going from level one undergarments all the way up to level seven, uh, which is the very most outer layer for wintertime windproof Arctic conditions. Um, so level one is basically undershirt, long johns, and a merino wool beanie. So. The one I have with my logo on it, I can't find at the moment, but I've had others before. So just imagine this with a Forgotten Weapons logo. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Uh, again, this is a really comfortable piece of gear for either wearing by itself if it's a little cold or wearing under something else if it's particularly cold. Merino wool, feels great, just nice. Then we have two pieces of particularly Finnish kit. One is a kupilka which is the traditional Finnish camp cup. It's simple, it's made of uh, polymer, it's not wood. Originally these would be made out of uh, wood burls off of trees, which is pretty cool. This is the basically indestructible, inexpensive, uh, made from recycled goods, uh, camp cup, Forgotten Weapons logo, laser engraved in it. And then of course we also have an Ukomati hip flask. So not the traditional flat hip flask, this is something that hangs on your belt right next to your knife. 
It is a heavy duty stainless steel tubular flask. Unscrews, holds a couple ounces of whatever your favorite beverage is. Uh, not insulated, by the way, it's not for hot stuff, it's just for good proper spirits. And then to round it off, we have a selection of three different patches. One, of course, is the traditional basic Forgotten Weapons patch. One is the much requested Elbonia flag patch. And the third is the also requested and long out of stock, only dropped once for proper appreciation of uh, the French military. And I think it's a really good retort to the only dropped once uh, dismissive joke that you often hear. So obviously this has just been a big blatant commercial, but thank you for watching through it. Hopefully you found something that you're interested in. I have a link in the description text to Varastalika's landing page where you can find all of the Forgotten Weapons merchandise we have over there. It will also be available through shop.forgottenweapons.com, although at the time of this video posting I don't think it's quite set up there yet. Anyway, head over to Varastalika's site, take a look, and while you're over there take a look at the other cool stuff they have, if for no other reason than to just read through their product descriptions, especially the surplus material they've got, because uh, they can be pretty funny. They're a really fun group of people. They have a good sense of humor and uh, brutal honesty about the products that they're selling that are surplus. Um, as well as, of course, a whole bunch of totally legit new manufacturer uh, military and outdoors gear Finnish reservists are one of their big client bases, and those guys don't mess around. So uh, have a look. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at Finnish Brutality.